My friends, I want to welcome you all to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. Today for this trip, we are out for a stealth truck camping adventure. Behind the seat here, earlier this morning, I came up with a way to fit a full-size cot back there. Kind of. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a little bit. About an hour ago, I hit the road, and to be honest, I have no idea where I'm going. This takes me back to my childhood, folks. When I was a teenager with my friends, hop inside of the vehicle, pick a direction, and just go. The exception is, tonight we will find a place to camp, stealth camp inside of the truck, and we'll see together whether or not this cot is comfortable. This is a sort of proof of concept sort of testing. Is it going to be comfortable back there? Is this going to work? I don't know. Together, folks, we will find out. There's two things to note about the conditions tonight. One, it's rainy and also incredibly foggy. Also, it is very warm. It is almost 60 degrees, everybody. Last week, it was zero. Right now, 60 degrees. We still have some snow on the ground, but at the same time, we have warm air, so there's a lot of haze. It has been a long time since I've done a stealth truck camp. I did one a few years back right when COVID started spreading around and that was a lot of fun. A lot of people enjoyed that adventure so hopefully you all will enjoy this adventure as well. My plan for this trip is to head off of the mountains and together we will find a place to camp. Maybe a gas station, grocery store parking lot, Walmart, who knows. We will just have to wait and see where we end up. Tell you what though folks, because it's so foggy, I'm going to shut off the camera and drive. I really do need to focus on what I'm doing here because visibility is very limited. Alright my friends, we have finally punched through the fog, for the most part. There still may be some areas that are foggy, but nothing like what we came through. When it comes to putting a cot in the back of the truck here, I have thought about this for a long time, and it dawned on me the other day how I could do it. The entire process is super simple, and it fits perfectly inside of this Tundra. And by the way, this is the double cab, not the crew cab. I did take out the seats a long time ago, so I do have a ton of extra space. The thing is, as soon as the kids moved away, I didn't need those seats. So I took them out and I've enjoyed a ton of space in the back of the truck here. There is so much space back there that I could fit a full-size cot. Kind of. <laughs> we are now at the base of the mountains. We went from roughly 4,000 feet to roughly 1,300 feet. It's foggy, but it's not as foggy as it was up there. For now, everyone, I'm going to drive and look for a place to stop tonight. Now folks, that is an interesting option over there. We have a Sheets gas station. Unfortunately, it's on the other side of the road and there's no easy way to get to it. I can do a U-turn, but for now, let's just keep driving and let's see what we can find. There may be something better down the road here, not only for parking, but also for some food. Now folks, I just saw a sign for Walmart. We might as well just keep on going, head to that, and see what the parking lot looks like. Let's check it out and see what the vibe is. Oh 
Okay, everybody. I have made it to a Walmart. I like this. I like this better than the Sheets gas station. The parking lot here is huge, and it's not that busy, which is surprising. I should be able to park here with no issues. I mean, there's no reason why anybody should come park over here. So my friends, let me tell you all about the cot that I have set up back here. This is a full-size one tigress cot, and I was able to get this to fit by removing one section of the beams, of the support beams. I do have the legs on it. That means it stands a little bit tall, almost like a chair. That makes it more comfortable to sit on, and at the same time, I have a lot of storage underneath it. When I was putting the cot in the truck here, I was thinking to myself, that has got to be more comfortable than sleeping in a front seat. This is what I call old school overlanding. That's when you travel, you sleep in the front seat, you don't get a hotel, nothing like that. Sleeping in a front seat, that's not great. That has to be a whole lot better. Now, of course, even with a full-size truck, the cab here is somewhat small. That means for this to work, I will have to lay partially up against the door. But with that in mind, just about anybody can fit back there if they do that. You know, as long as you're like average height, that is. Yeah, I don't know. Is this going to work? I have no idea. Together, we will find out. That's basically what I've been thinking. So this is the best that I've come up with so far. In this episode, we will find out whether or not this is a good idea or not. Anyways, my friends, I need to focus on finding something for dinner. I could go inside of Walmart or I could find something in this area. Let's see what I can find. It looks like we have quite a few options in this area. I'll tell you what, folks. I'm going to select one, go get food, then I will come back, and I'll share with you all what I got. Head north avenue. I have finally made it back. That took bloody forever. I went half a mile down the road to a Taco Bell and sat in line for about 25 minutes. Like the place was just surrounded by like college kids. <laughs> I know why they're eating at Taco Bell. Anyway, I have a whole bag of hard shell tacos here. That is going to be my dinner. I love hard shell tacos, folks. Nothing is better in my opinion. I had to open up the windows here because inside of this truck it is plum hot. That is not something that I accounted for. Luckily, I do have a small fan with me, but I don't think I need it. I've opened up the two side windows and the back window, and I'm now comfortable. When it comes to having the cot back here, there's a few things that have surprised me right off the bat. First off, getting in and out, very easy. Next, I have a ton of space here for my legs. So I'm able to sit down on this cot perfectly comfortable. I did not expect to have so much space between the cot and basically the rest of the truck here, but there's a lot of space. So I can utilize this and be very comfortable, and that's not what I expected. Something I've been doing for the last 15 minutes is basically just observing the area, seeing what the people are like, what the area is like. I'm not really familiar with this area, so I don't know. But this looks to be a pretty safe place. There's not a bunch of creepers walking around. I don't see tent city anywhere, so this is, this is good. Let's say that you're traveling across the country and you're doing something like this. It's important to select your locations as carefully as possible. Take a look around the area. Check out the vibe. Does it look good? Does it look safe? If you have to move, then move. You know what I mean? Those are the rules that I follow when I'm out traveling. And speaking of which, folks, I can't begin to tell you all how many times I have camped inside of a vehicle, vehicles much smaller than this here. This truck is paradise compared to the small vehicles that I've driven across the country and have slept in. Most of the time, I'm laying down in a seat. 
maybe it's the back seat, all of it very uncomfortable. This is already a huge step up above all of those situations. I'm definitely getting ahead of myself. I don't know if sleeping inside of this is going to be comfortable, but I, it has to be. There's no way that it's not going to be. So, anyways, everybody, let's get some dinner going. I am starving. These tacos, unfortunately, do not feel crunchy to me. I believe I've left them inside of this bag for too long. As far as the time goes, it's a little bit after 12 o'clock now, so that they have been in there for a while. Nonetheless, I'm sure they'll be fine. Unfortunately, the shells are now soft and soggy, but at least it is warm. Cheers, everyone. There's a little bit of a crunch. It's pretty good though. For it being as late as it is, this place is still really, really busy. And just about everybody has a loud truck just like I do. <laughs> It is time for taco number two, everybody. I should say before I start eating this, kind of what the purpose of this video is. This morning the idea came to me about putting a cot in the back of the truck and seeing whether or not it would work. I knew if I removed one piece of the frame that this would fit, and it does. The question is whether or not this is comfortable. What I'm doing in this trip is seeing whether or not this is comfortable, whether or not this is something that I would use like going across the country. You know, folks, I've traveled across the country so many times and I've done it in so many different ways. Most of the time, I don't like spending money and I don't like staying at the hotel, so I sleep inside of my vehicle. So sometimes I'm sleeping in the front seat, the passenger seat, the back seat. I've slept in the back of U-Hauls. I've slept in the bed of trucks, sometimes with a cap on, sometimes not, sometimes with a tonneau cover. There is literally a million different ways that you can do this. And this right here is one. Now, of course, this is small. Even for me, this is small. But it's my hope that when I'm laying up against the door, it will be comfortable. It doesn't have to be the most comfortable thing ever, right? It just has to be more comfortable than sleeping in a front seat which I guarantee it will be. All of that being said though, what I'm doing here is basically testing out whether or not this would work, whether or not it would work for future travels. At the same time, I'm trying to show you all that if you get creative, you can come up with solutions that are comfortable even inside of small spaces like this. I think someone's listening to Mexican music. Come on back, man. I can't hear it now. When it comes to fast food, this is just about the only thing I actually like. Hard shell tacos. Taco number three. When I was younger and more carefree, the adventures that I would take across the country were just crazy. Back around, I think it was right at 2000, I bought a Toyota Tacoma double cab. I love that truck. And I took that truck all over the country. Whatever friend wanted to go with me on a trip, we went. You know what I mean? I remember one year, a friend of mine, he told me he would go with me. So we leave the mountains, we drive down to the beach, and we stop at a Walmart. I will be right back with you all. Okay. There was a vehicle that was parked behind my truck here for a little while. 
I wanted to see what they were doing. Just in case I needed to get out and take care of the situation. Anyways, my friend and I, we went down to the beach, stopped at a Walmart, he needed to get some things. So I was tired, I drove all the way down there all night long. So he comes back with a sleeping bag and later on in the morning, he opens that up and inside of that sleeping bag is a ton of that he stole. I was so angry that he stole all of that stuff. Not only because it's wrong, but because he did it with me being with him, it could have looked like I was his accomplice, and that made me so angry. After that point, after that trip, we were no longer friends. The trip itself really wasn't that great, but it is what it is. If you think back through your life, all of the friends and acquaintances that you've had, I'm sure you've known some really interesting characters just like I have. That guy was very interesting. He did eventually get caught and arrested for stealing. He was a super smart guy, multilingual. He ended up working at the courthouse doing translations during like court sessions. He could have done anything, but he never did. What a shame. This is the last taco and it is in a million pieces. So here we go. <laughs> I will bring you all back when I'm done. My friends, without a doubt, it is time for bed. Let's lay down on this cot and let's see if this works. Here we go. Oh. Everybody, this is fantastic. Now, I do have to lay up against this door some, but I have a ton of space here. I mean, I could stretch all the way out, and if I want to, sleep on my side, whatever. This is nice, folks. With the center console here, I could put a fan here, lights, whatever. There's tons of storage space underneath this. This is pretty slick, I have to say. As far as the time goes, it is now after 1 a.m., and it's definitely time for me to get some shut-eye. The plan is pretty simple. I'm going to get up really early, basically as the sun gets up. I have some coffee already that I made in a thermos. We'll wake up, get the coffee, fire up the truck, and rock and roll. It will be interesting to see if anything happens tonight. It seems like something always happens when you're sleeping in a parking lot. Anytime that you're traveling across the country, or maybe even short distances, anytime that you're having to stay inside of your vehicle, there's always like oddities and strange people and who knows. A few years back, there was a YouTube channel. I don't remember the guy's name. It was like a young kid, but he was sleeping in the back of his truck and somebody was trying to break into his vehicle and he was too scared to get out and face the guy. I don't know if that channel's still around or not, but that was something else. I would personally handle things very differently, but hey, that's just me. All right, folks, I'm going to bed. I will see you all in the morning unless something happens. Good night for now.
Good morning, everybody. Good morning. As far as the time goes, it's around 6.30. And this place is waking up. It's getting busy. To be 100% honest with you all, I slept great. This is incredibly comfortable. This works incredibly well. I have no complaints, everybody. This is nice. Without a doubt, this is more comfortable than sleeping in the front seat. Now, everybody, I slept great back here and I didn't have any issues last night with the exception of one guy. He appears that he's, I don't know if he's living back here next to this trash can or something, but I mean from like 3 o'clock in the morning this guy has been walking around singing songs. I woke up hearing someone say like something about the devil as he walked by. And it's the same song, I believe, over and over and over. But, like, he's, like, listening to it on his phone and he's singing with it and just, like, jamming out. And, yeah, I don't know. Like, he just walks around this parking lot, like, all night long. It's pretty bizarre. You might be able to hear him singing right now. It's really, really strange, folks. <laughs> I thought he was singing like Christian music, but that's not the case. I just heard him blurt out, mother f <laughs> Anyways, that was my night. I did sleep good, but it has been interesting. I'm pretty much ready to get out of here now that the sun is coming up. When it comes to social interaction, this is about as much as I like to have. Cheers, my friends, cheers. Some nice hot coffee on a relatively warm morning. It's warm and it's really, really humid. Luckily, I had a good cross breeze last night. This window's open, this one here, and the back window. So, I slept good, I was comfortable enough. I don't remember exactly what time it was, but it did start raining last night, but not hard enough for me to close the windows. Thank goodness, if I had to have closed those windows, Oh man, that would have been awful. Luckily, because I had the windows down, I was able to listen to a man sing all night long. He never did come really close to my vehicle, but he just patrolled the parking lot. I noticed a truck driver, he pulled over here and he was gonna go into this business. And as he was approaching, he could hear that guy screaming at the dumpster and he just turned around, got in his truck and left. I mentioned this last night, but I've spent so much time sleeping in my vehicle front seats, back seats, in the bed, so on and so forth. Every single time that I go somewhere and I don't want to get a hotel, I don't want to spend the money, usually that's when I'm by myself. 
but every single time it's always a crazy bizarre experience. What the flying f guys. Apparently people do not know how to drive here. Thank you my friends very much for joining me for this episode. I have had a fantastic time. Without a doubt, a cot behind the seat here it works perfectly make sure to comment down below everybody and tell me what you all think about this setup here is this something that you're interested in doing for your own vehicle or maybe you have another solution comment down below and share if you enjoyed this episode this weird episode hit the thumbs up i do appreciate it folks i'm going home take care be well strength and honor